Hey guys, it's Michel here, and I gotta make this video because I'm triggered as fuck. I was leading on Facebook, I see this beautiful turntable, huge platform, this thick, this thick dampers on it. I mean, we're talking about a $30,000 turntable. <sighs> the amount of idiots in these, in, these, in these biased groups. It's so much better than CD. It sounds phenomenal. It's the best format ever. It will destroy anything digital. Digital is horrible. Don't do it. Buy yourself a plastic disc from your thrift store and buy yourself a $30,000 table with five tone arms on it because that's what it clearly needs to sound halfway decent. Now, here's the thing, guys. I got a, quite a few turntables. I got three turntables. I got one over there, I got one over here, and I got one in my storage room, which they're not even close to that realm. But let's face it, you guys. There is a reason why CD bumped vinyl away. Now, you can debate the fact that you know, vinyl is more uncompressed, yada, yada, yada. But there's a couple of issues with vinyl. Let's talk about the fact that you're dropping a cheap, cheap, cheap. It doesn't matter if you paid thousands of dollars for your Grotto uh, Ultimate Gold, you know, cartridge. It's a cheap sliver of diamond that's being dropped in a plastic groove. Let that, let that just sink in. Diamond? Plastic. It's going to wear out the format. Everybody knows. There is a saying in the Netherlands, and this is for the Dutch guys, een plaatje grijs draaien. That means that you are basically turning a record gray. That it's just, it's just damaging the groove after X amount of playing. Now that could be thousands of plays, of hundreds of plays, depending how you set up your table, of course. Some people have no clue how to set up the weight of their table, or don't have even have the tools. I've <laughs> This guy has a $30,000 table, that he doesn't know what a protractor is. Kind of silly to me if you were going into that realm. But anyways, this whole discussion sparked between vinyl lovers and people that understand that vinyl has its limitations. That is just a factual thing, guys. This is not fiction. This is not something that's drummed up by people that love digital so much. That is just fact. There is shortcomings. And a couple of these shortcomings, there's probably a lot more that I will skip. A lot more technicality to it. But here's a couple for you. You're dropping a needle into a format. It will wear the format out. CD doesn't have that issue. You have a laser diode that basically beams a ray of light onto a reflective medium and it reads it and you have music. It doesn't wear it out. Now you can debate, but hey, if I take care of my records, it does not matter. You are physically dropping a needle into a groove that is doing revolutions with that needle in there. You're wearing it out. Then we go on into the realm of now quality. Of course, you need a huge platform, this thick of pure steel, uh, and uh, 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 huge spindles and huge, huge, huge. I mean, this guy was talking about the thirty thousand dollar turntable. When you see the picture, this thing looks like completely built. Built. It's beautiful. It's a piece of art. Then three or four tone arms, which I never understood. Why do you have three or four tone arms? Why you want such a different sound from each tone arm? You're already messing there with the accuracy of the format itself. So this guy goes on a tangent, not towards me, but in general, it's way more accurate. No, it's the fuck not. It's not more accurate. And people who have vinyl and turntables, and if you're honest to yourself, you know that that's the truth. It's not accurate. And the way to prove this is actually pretty easy. The problem is you run out of money really quickly. Now, let's say you have four of the same turntables all set up the same way. Play the same records. Guarantee you that you will hear differences between the four tables. Let's grab a average CD player, put them all, fear, all four there, all the same brand, same CD players of your choice, play in, and just play the same album. Guess what? Not that many differences, if all at any. That is what I mean with accuracy. I'm not talking about the musical ac uh, accuracy. Now here you have people that go a little bit deeper with this. Musical accuracy is different. How the fuck do you know? You sit there pretending, well, this is, this is an album, I was listening to this, and it was so accurate. It was so accurate to the studio recording. The fuck, how the fuck do you know that? You weren't in the studio when they were recording it. You have no idea which situation they were in. You have no idea what type of speakers they were using, what type of equipment they were using, what their... Stop your bullshit. You're just pretentious. You're just pretending to understand the word accuracy. It really, in all reality, it doesn't really exist. Think about it for a second, people. If you have, I don't have any right now, but I grab a random album here. Let's couple. Now, this could be CD or anything you like. The Art of Noise, right? It's recorded in the studio. Then we have here uh, Kenny Rogers. I don't know what the hell that's doing here. Recorded in the studio. Guess what? 
all in different studios, all in different environments, all by different engineers, all by different ears, all by different equipment. Stop with your accuracy nonsense, okay? Now, here comes a biggie one. Dynamic range. <sighs> Do I really have to explain this, you guys? And I won't. Just Google it. Just Wikipedia it. Just read a little bit about it. CD by far exceeds the dynamic range of any turntable or just vinyl in general. It has its limitations. This format, as much fun as this format is, and I know this goes a little bit against the last video that I did about formats, is absolutely fun to listen to. Is it the most accurate format? And I'm holding it on purposely like this. This is Kenny Rogers, which I don't care a shit about. I don't even know why it's in my collection. So that one's going away. Dudes, you don't need a $30,000 turntable to enjoy a little bit of vinyl. Buy yourself a good little table, fix the thing up, have fun with it, enjoy it. Enjoy the mechanism of it, the mechanics of it. It's that nostalgia. But other than that, don't come on to me and telling me that vinyl is so much superior to the digital realm. You've been living under a rock, okay? And then my favorite, you got to have a better setup to understand what I'm talking about. If you need $30,000 in a turntable and say $50,000 in a pair of speakers to enjoy that shithead over there that just threw away Kenny Rogers, you're doing shit wrong. You're doing shit that wrong. Anyways, my little video. I know I'm going to create some hate here, you guys. Love y'all. Happy New Year. Wish you Christmas was good. Talk to you next time.